In unit one, we looked at sequences. So one of the first things that we looked at was, if I give you a list of numbers, can you figure out is it arithmetic or geometric? And if it's arithmetic, that amount that it goes up or down by is called a common difference. And if it's geometric, the amount that you multiply by is called a common ratio. So if we take a look at the first one, we can see that it's going up by adding 1.1 every time. And that works every single time. So this would be considered arithmetic. The sequence is just your ordered list of numbers. And the common difference is 1.1 because we're adding that every time. In B, you can see it goes from positive to negative, positive to negative. So that's kind of a clue that it's going to be geometric because you can't add a number and get positive and negative like that. So to find the common ratio, you just take any number. So I'll just pick 22 and divide by the number before it, and we get negative 2. And that works for, it should work for every term. So again, if we take 88 divided by negative 44, we get negative 2. So that's an indication this is geometric. And that common ratio, the way we're multiplying by, is negative 2. So then we took a look at how you can write a recursive formula. A recursive formula is how you take one term and find the next. So for the recursive formula, for A, the first term, a sub 1, is 5.5. And to find any number, a sub n, we take the number before it, and we add 1.1. For the second sequence, the geometric one, again, we need the first term. Again, it's 5.5. To find any number, you take the number before it, a sub n minus 1. And this time, we're going to multiply by negative 2. So there's the recursive formula. And then the explicit formula is what's a formula we can just plug into and find the next term. So if it's arithmetic, you should think slope and y-intercept, y equals mx plus b. So we'd say to find any term, the slope here is 1.1. And then we would need the y-intercept. So here the y-intercept, you'd have to go backwards one and find the 0 term. And so here it'd be 4.4. So don't forget to go back and find like that y-intercept is a sub 0. So if I write this out, it'd be the common difference times n plus the 0 term. And the explicit formula for if it's geometric is, and there's two ways to write this. To find any number, you can take the first term, multiply by the ratio to the n minus 1 power, or if you want to start at the 0 term, the zero term times the ratio to the n power. So there's two ways that we did that when we were looking at exponentials. So geometric is exponential. So you're going to go ahead and take a look at your assignment, uh, which are these practice problems. And I will post an answer key so you can check. So it goes from page 1 to page 2. It's just seven problems, 1 through 7. And I'll make a YouTube video then for um, functions.